sacrifice. And next up, I'm going to show you guys a boss fight. Now, this is when things are going to get very, very, very different because the focus changes very, very much. You're going to lose probably several opportunities that you would normally get for points in one of these minion farming missions, but some other opportunities open up for points in other areas, such as, well, the, the type of opportunities we'll probably lose in a boss fight are counters. Counters are very difficult uh, to get off unless the, the boss is focusing on you, and I'm not entirely sure just how often you can get a counter off on a boss fight, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's tougher in a boss fight situation to get counters, but elemental stuns and elemental breaks are still a big focus, and if anything, they become an even more, a bigger focus, because what you need to do is you need to use your mind's eye in order to, in order to spot the weak points. And if you manage to identify the weak points on a monster, attack those points you will get points you will get points towards your score for attacking the enemy's weak points and if you are able to break those areas if you're able to break those weak points on the monster then you get even more points and that's not something that you can do with minions it's you probably are wondering like what the hell are we watching this is some weird like little prologue mission to what we're about to do and that's the boss right there that was an interesting kind of little quest there where you're supposed to run around using your mind's eye and look for these uh these collection points once all the collection points are gathered then it reveals the boss and there you go very easy very easy but um yeah so on this boss fight coming up you'll notice and that's why I'm talking about it kind of in advance. You'll notice that when I turn Mind's Eye on, there will be these red marks, and those are the boss's weak points. You've got to use whatever skills that you've got, probably a long-range um, air attack, not an air attack, but like a shooting attack of some sort, such as Ice Thorns or a Mortar attack or something like that, to try and aim for, example, the boss's head or something like that. If you hit it, you get points. If you break it, you get a lot more points. And that's what I'm talking about. Those are the kinds of point opportunities that you get that sort of compensate for the loss of what you would maybe not get in a boss fight, such as minion sacrifices. It's difficult to get minion sacrifices in a boss fight because usually there's really not a lot of minions. And even if there are, you better believe that everybody is doing whatever they can to rush to kill the minion and to sacrifice it as quickly as possible because we're all trying to keep our attack power up and refreshed as much as possible. So the whole minion counter and sacrifice points bonus becomes very, very tough. Very tough. But as I was saying, the elemental stuns and elemental breaks are a big part of boss fights because what you really want to do is if you can, you want to knock the boss down in some way. Usually this occurs from a an elemental stun and an elemental break. And then with the boss lying down, it's much easier to aim for their weak points and then continue to lock them up with a stun. Hit them again with the break, the elemental break, to try and destroy that weak point. To try and damage that weak point as much as possible because that's where a big chunk of points are going to come from. At the beginning of this boss fight, with the first hit using Ice Thorns, identified the weak points. There we go, the red marks with Mind's Eye, and now I'm sending out my Thorns to attack those weak points. You can see I'm already racking up points, and this is the first time I've done this boss fight. I have no idea what the hell this is. I'm going to have to look it up. This is the first time I've done this boss. There. Boss is knocked down, so I'm going to try to charge at him and freeze him up. So that way I can get an elemental stun and then perhaps an elemental break from him. And notice now there's some minions. I could probably use them to refresh my spell power. There, I do manage to grab one. Using the lock-on now, which is the left trigger to, to figure out where the hell the boss is, because it's flying. 
and start shooting some more ice thorns up there. This boss reminds me a lot of the harpy boss that I was talking about before, which is a massive pain in the ass, but at least this boss does not suck you in, chew you up, and spit you out, which is just the worst. <laughs> this griffin boss has some kind of... Uh, that's the name of the boss. Griffin, I think? Has this. Has this weird blinding attack. I'm not sure if there's uh, some kind of spell yet. I'm gonna... Like I said, I'm gonna have to look into this, research it. I just took a massive hit. And figure out if there's some way to counter this blindness. So as you can see, it's very difficult to maintain a, a score in terms of your health. So I I tend to just forget about like my health score so much and focus as much as I can on other things that I can do. You got somebody that loves to take out their golem statue, that's for sure. Disrupting everybody else that's trying to move in like I am and, uh, and freeze this boss up. I would like to be in melee range, like, or close to the boss. I like, I like fighting up close with bosses, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult because there's so many abilities that people have, like the golem statues, like the mortars and stuff like that, or their, you know, giant fist attacks and stuff like that, that will knock you around. And so, you know, it's unfortunate, but really long range attacks seem to do much better in boss fights in terms of your safety and, you know, generally just how the fights run. It's better when people are, are using long range instead of so much close range stuff, I guess. My freezing spell is getting dangerously low. You can see it flashing red. If I Probably if I use it anymore, then it will break and then I won't be able to use it at all after that. I notice a, uh, a minion here. I still need to get my elemental break off, I think. So I'm trying to... There we go. Freeze up. And bam. There's the elemental break. 60 points. It's close by. There we go. I get a few more bonuses for sacrificing and other things. The points are racking up pretty good. Pretty good in this fight. But it's tough because... Well, it's, it's just a new boss. <laughs> it's a new boss, and, you know, it, it, you can try as hard as you want sometimes for a legendary score, but it may not come to you. Just, you know, it's a, it, there is a luck factor in this as well. Somebody really likes golems. <laughs> boss gets knocked down, getting slammed by that golem. And I'm, I'm like, screw this. I'm going to take out my mortar and hit him as well. And that's it. That is the boss. And now to get some last minute points. By sacrificing the human form. You get more points for that too. So, that was a pretty smooth fight for the most part, but there are some things that opportunity-wise for points did not happen for me, and that's what I'm going to talk about during this next boss fight. Let's take a look at the score. Not very good. <laughs> that is not a legendary score. I did manage to get some things like the weakness hit, the uh, elemental break, but it doesn't appear like it uh, it worked out. And so in the, in the end, the result for this battle was only three spells. But we've got another boss fight to show you. Let's see what happens. All right, and now for the last boss fight that I wanna show you guys. There we go. Identify. Bam! Look at that. I got 20 points for first hit. 
40 points for hitting it with its elemental weakness. There's another 60 points for an elemental break. 10 points for using Mind's Eye, and you can see the red marks. That's what I'm aiming for next, because I want to hit. Bam! There we go. Hit that, that weak point for 30 points. And now, what I would really like to do, because we got so many points already from other areas, is there. There it is. Destroy the boss's weak point. 50 points right there. We are already rocking this boss and racking up the points. Let's see how speed and health turn out over the course of this battle. I'm facing the boss, but I'm quite nervous, actually, because I'm looking... Yeah, you see, I'm looking behind me. I'm like, I don't want to get hit by any surprise minions, like, from behind me. So I'm trying to keep, keep my mind on the boss, but also be mindful of other minions that might spawn around in the area. Re-identifying where the weak points are. It's it's a little bit tricky trying to aim with the uh, with these long-range attacks like this. You might notice what I'm doing is I'm kind of turning the camera away sometimes first, and then activating the spell like now, and then turn it the aim back to the boss, so that way it will lock on to the areas where I want it to lock on, which is around the middle, where that weak point was. Feeling like a mortar shot, so now I'm going to start chucking my mortars at this guy. These do massive amounts of damage. Arguably, probably one of the best spells in the game are those mortar shots. But, they can be a huge pain in the ass to your party, so please, please do not be reckless with these. Because what you will do is you will knock your teammates all over the place if they are close to the boss when the mortar shot hits. You can see our teammates are getting hammered by this boss. Some bosses you just don't want to get near and this is one of those bosses. We've got some more point opportunities coming up still. It's not over yet. Even though we've racked up a lot of points, there's still some other things you can do. If I were to take enough damage, then I could activate my Forbidden spell, and that would give me a lot of points. Oh, here we go. Teammate down. Sacrifice him for 30 points. My teammate got knocked down. Instead of saving him, I opted to sacrifice him. Now, this is something that you really don't want to do too early in a boss fight. If you do this too early, you're really hurting yourself. But you could see, look, by sacrificing my teammate... We destroyed that boss with the sacrifice technique. So I got a bonus for sacrificing him. And don't feel too bad for him because he got a bonus also for being sacrificed. Now we're going to sacrifice the boss. And more points. So yeah. Again, I want to reiterate that. Do not sacrifice your teammates too early. If you don't know the boss fight, if you don't know how close you are to finishing it, don't do it too early. Save your teammate. If you think the boss is gonna go down soon, by all means, sacrifice your teammate. Because you will both benefit from it. Four hundred and eighty. Now that's what I like to see. That's a pretty good score. You can see all the things that we racked up. We got first hit. Of course, Mind's Eye was activated. We sacrificed minions. I got an elemental break. We got a weakness hit, a weakness point break. There I'm pointing out the 30 points from sacrificing my teammate. You can see there's the points, the 30 and the 50, for hitting and breaking the boss's weak points very good score I think and there are the rewards sweet so there you go guys I think that pretty much covers 
everything that I wanted to, to talk about in this video in regards to points, in regards to um, single player action for multiplayer action and stuff like that. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can get points and if you really want to get those awesome spells, if you want to, to get that legendary rank, you're going to need to understand elementals, the weaknesses, the counters and stuff like that, and all these little tricks to put together to make sure that you have the best chance of getting a legendary score by the end of the fight. That's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give us a thumbs up and you can share this, of course, on your social networks, Facebook, Google Plus, stuff like that. Whoops, I knocked him over. He doesn't like being knocked over. That's one of the kind of cute things you can do in this game, though. You can tap on the book on the front and he'll fall back. And if you tap on the backside of the Vita, it will knock him forward. And then he'll start cursing you out. <laughs> yeah, guys. Again, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more Soul Sacrifice on the way, as well as other games that we're doing. My name is Kinetic, and I'll see you guys next time.